Welcome to the National Palliative Care Registry, a free resource for all palliative care programs across the continuum of care, including hospital, home, long-term care, and office practices. You can access the registry at registry.capsi.org. After you log into the registry, you'll be brought to the main dashboard. Here you can add service sites, start or edit surveys, and access your program's reports. At any point when you're logged into the registry, just click the dashboard button in the upper navigation to get back to this page. Under the top navigation bar, your service sites are listed. If your palliative care program goes to additional sites that are not listed, you can add the service site. Each service setting will have its own separate survey, and additionally, each type, hospital, home, long-term care, and office clinic, will have its own service site-specific questions. You can search for your service site and add them to your dashboard. Once all your service sites are listed, it's time to enter your annual data. Select which service site you want to enter data for and click Start Edit Survey. This menu will display which years of data your service site has, the progress for that survey, the option to edit or start a survey, and the download button for a copy of the survey with your answers included. You can always update or edit your data at any time. Once you click on Edit or Start, you'll be brought directly into the survey. The survey layout is the same for all surveys in the registry. At the top, you can download a copy of the survey with your answers included. You will also see information on which service setting you're entering data for and your overall survey progress. You can navigate through the survey by using the module menu or by clicking Save and Continue at the bottom. Each module will also show your progress. By clicking on the purple symbol that appears next to some questions, you will get a pop-up with additional guidance for that question. It's important to note that our database saves your answers as you move through the survey. You do not need to enter all of the data in one sitting, and you can skip any questions you don't have the answer for. Before we go back to the dashboard, it's important for pediatric palliative care programs to know that some questions have pediatric-specific guidance, and if you answer yes to being a pediatric program in Module 1 of the hospital survey, your comparative reports will only compare you to other hospital pediatric programs. So let's head back to the dashboard and see some reports. The reports section will also list your palliative care program service sites. Currently available reports are accessible immediately after you enter annual data and we are always in the process of developing new reports across settings. If you click on the service site you want, the menu will expand to show the available reports. There are three categories of reports. Your program over time, comparisons over time, and annual comparative reports. If you click on the report you're interested in, a web view will open. You also have the option of downloading a PDF of the report, which also includes some additional information or an Excel table of the data that was used for the report. For annual comparative reports in the third tab, you must select a year from the drop-down menu, as these reports are limited to only one year of data. For each of the three categories, you also have the option to request combined reports, where you can select multiple reports at once that will be delivered to your email address as one single PDF document. Now that we've covered the service settings, surveys, and reports, there are a few additional features of the National Palliative Care Registry to point out. In the upper right-hand corner is additional information about your program, including the health system, program's administrative home, and your program's name. If a button appears next to your program's name, that means you are attached to multiple programs. Clicking on the button will allow you to navigate to the other program's dashboard. The Invite a Colleague button will show you all of the people currently attached to your program and provides a quick way to invite others to join the program's dashboard. By providing the person's name and email address, they will receive an invitation to join the program's dashboard directly. In addition to the dashboard, the top navigation has a few additional features. Under Program, 
you can edit your palliative care program's name, address, and contact information. Programs that participate in the National Palliative Care Registry are listed in the provider directory on getpalliativecare.org for patients, families, and clinicians. So please make sure that your information is accurate and complete. In this section, you also have the option to edit the health system and ACO information for your administrative home, join or leave other programs that operate out of your program's administrative home, and hide service sites where you no longer provide services from your dashboard. The support button provides contact information for the registry staff and also has a form if you would like to submit a question. Finally, in the profile section you can update your personal information or email address and change your password. By participating in the National Palliative Care Registry, you will add your program data to the National Profile of Palliative Care, receive access to custom reports that measure your program's progress year to year, and assess your program through comparisons with peer programs. Your participation also helps promote standardization and improve the quality of palliative care. Thank you for participating.